Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we will look at how to access a SQL Server database inside a .NET Core application. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So to get started, obviously we're going to access an existing database, so we have to create a database first. So to do so, as you can see, I've already got a Visual Studio 2019 opened. So if we look at it here, I've already got a database created, but if you don't have it, an existing database, you can click on the data connections. If you don't see this window, the Server Explorer window, you click on the view, and then you should find it here, Server Explorer. Yeah, but if you do, then you, and you want to create a new one, you can right click on the data connection and add a connection. Yeah, so the source was not found, I mean, so add a, a, or create a new database. So here, you can, from here, you can create a new database, yeah? But that's not, a, that's not for this video. I've already got a video on this, so I'm just gonna cancel it, yeah? So, as you can see, I've already got a new uh, database created. And inside here, I've got this table, um, products. Yeah, so if we right click the products table and open the table definition. So this might take a while, so we're just gonna wait, yeah? But if it's not loading, okay, so as you can see here now, so this is the table definitions that we've actually got. So we've got a product ID, int, uh, the name for the product, the price, and the description, yeah? So this is all that we're gonna have. So if we look at the uh, stored procedures as well, I've actually created a store procedure, get product. So if we click on it, yeah. So this is just a, a very simple store procedure that called a get product. So this get all the products. So if we look at the product table, we right click it and show table data. I've actually added three products to it, the apple, banana, and pear. So yeah, this is just a sample data. So once we've got this bit sorted out, yeah, then we're going to create a .NET Core application. So to do so, this is what we're gonna do. We open a, I mean, or we can click on the file and then start window, create a new project, yeah? So from here, you can type in um, the console. We're going to add, a .NET Core Console app. So this is the first result here. The second one is a .NET Framework. So we're going to use the .NET Core. So we click on the next. So here you can configure your project details, but we're not gonna look too much into that. So we're going to click on next. And here you can select what .NET Core Framework that you want to use or the version. We're just going to leave it at the current version. So we click on the Create. So as you can see now, we've actually got um, a console app, a .NET Core console app created for us. Yeah, so what we do next is um, add a couple of um, NuGet packages. So we right click on um, the project and then manage NuGet packages. So we click on the browse and obviously you should have an internet connected. So we just write config for config. So these are the extensions that we're actually going to install. First of all, is microsoft.extensions.configuration. So we install this, yeah, we accept all the licensing stuff. And then, um, this is um, the, the file extension as well, configuration.file extensions. We're going to install this as well. If you scroll down, yeah, we're going to install configurations um, dot json yeah and then the last bit is um, system.data.sql client so we're just going to type in um, sql client yeah so it's the first result here yeah? system.data.sql client so we install this as well So once we've actually sorted this bit, we're just gonna close the new get console. And then we actually right click the project. And then we add a new item. 
So we're just going to add a JSON. So we're going to add a JSON file, yeah? So we're going to call this app settings, yeah? So inside the app settings, yeah, this is what we're going to put inside here. I'm just going to copy the connection string for my database, yeah? So basically, this is what we're going to put inside, the connection string, and we're going to name it default, yeah? And it's the data and your server, the database name, and then, and then um, the authentication method. In my case, it's a Windows authentication. That's why the integrated security is set to true, yeah? So we save this bit here, then we close it. Yeah, so inside the product, I mean the program.cs, this is what we're going to write inside. First, we're going to create a new class. So we're going to call this class um, um, product. Yeah, so we're just going to put um, product. ID and the string um, name and a double for price. Yeah, so that's what we're going to need for this product here. And then next is we're going to create another class here. So this will be a public class. Um, this will be connect DB. Yeah, so this are the this this is what we're gonna put inside the connect DB. So the first is a private field string. So this will be our connection string, and then we set our constructor. For the DB Connect class, so this will be I configuration So I configuration this will be under one of the dependencies that we just installed, yeah. So it will be Microsoft extensions configuration, yeah. So this will be configuration. So we set the connection string. So this will be configuration dot get connection string. So if you may recall, inside our, our app settings, we named our connection string default. So we put the default. Yeah. So the next part is we create a method. This will be a public list. That takes um, the product. So we can say get products. Yeah, so we just um, add system.collections.generics. Yeah. So here we actually initialize a new variable called products so this will be a new instance of a list products yeah so this is what we're going to do now so we put this in a try catch yeah so the exceptions we're just going to put in a console.ryline um exception e so e that message so we're just going to print out whatever message that comes out of it so what we do next is we we, we use the using keyword a variable count for connection this will be a new sql sql um, connection So this will be under 
um, system.data.sql client yeah so we, we pass in our connection string so the next is uh, we use a um, SQL command this will be CMD this will be equal to a new SQL command which will take um, uh, we're going to call the, the get product the, the stored procedure get products yeah and then we pass in the the connection the SQL connection yeah so what we do next is um, we set our command type so the command type will be um, uh, system dot data dot command type dot stored procedure so we, we're basically going to get the store procedure okay so here it's actually command test we're going to change this to command type dot command type yeah and the error should go away yeah so the next part is here uh, we open the connection so con dot open will open the connection and then what we do next is we actually get the SQL reader and this will be read will be equal to command dot execute the reader So the next part will be we read the the, um, the incoming data. So this will be read dot read. So this is what we're gonna do next. We add the incoming data to the products that um, variable that we created. So we say products dot add. So this will be. new product yeah so this is what we're gonna put inside uh, the product ID will be equal to we convert to it um, in 32 so this will be the first index of our incoming data so the name will also be um, our read so that will be the second that we convert it to string and then the last bit will be the price so this will be we convert this to double so this will be read that will be the second the second part yeah so that's all we've got here now so after that after the while loop here we return uh, the products yeah so that's all we got we have for here now so this is what we're going to do we come inside the main the main method and this is what we're going to put inside inside the main we initialize a variable this will be our builder this will be equal to new configuration builder so here we set um, the base path so this will be um, directory the directory will be under system.io will be under system.io so we get the current directory get current directory and then 
uh, we add um, the upset is the JSON file. So this will be our apps settings dot JSON, and then we set up the optional to be op set up to false, and then the reload change to be true. And then we could say uh, we we have to also start um, a new another variable here. So this would be a private static i configuration so this will be a configuration so here we set the configuration to the builder configuration one will be equal to will be equal to builder dot build so as you can see, uh, I've, I've actually I actually made a mistake with double U, so I can just remove it here. So the last part will be um, we grab our connect DB. So this will be our DB. This will get that new instance. So it will take the configuration. So the next part is obviously we print out the, the data. So we say we put that in a um, the prod uh, db db dot get products. Dot get product. So we loop it for each. So P for the product. So we can pull our console dot right line. So first will be the product name, P dot name. And then the price will be P dot price. So that's all we're gonna do here for now. So af just after the hello world, we just can put our console dot read key. Yeah. So we can just we're going to um, press F five to run it, or we can just press this play button here. So we're just gonna do just that. So we press the F five to run it. Then. So as you can see here now, we've actually got a product and a price printed out, yeah? It's actually calling this stored procedure method. So I'm just gonna leave it here for now. So right now you can just explore it further yourself. So once again, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, cause I've got loads of videos coming up, yeah? So have a look, I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are, peace.